dude, some of the shit we used to do the kids in the shower, bro. Like when I was in seventh and eighth grade, like you were listening to the Jim Cooperman Show. I hope Jacob knows what he's getting himself into. This is make or break for him. Live from New York. I mean, this is a big deal. This is going to get millions of views. So in military like, school, did they were you guys allowed to take shits? Was that like the, the line that you wouldn't cross? Or if someone's taking a shit, is that fair game? I wouldn't get caught right. doing it in school. It's a little bit it's a little but, bit tricky. I mean every we lived together, like everyone Everyone had everyone, to everyone got yeah, yeah. Everyone, you know, you couldn't you know, what are you gonna do, hold it for four years? Like <laughs> No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. You just gotta I think you gotta be tactical with it. No, you know? yeah. You gotta you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, there, there are there are the laws of the land. You know what I'm saying. There's certain lines you don't cross because you know that they're gonna cross them back at you. You know what I'm saying. Whatever you do to someone, they're gonna do back at you. And since you were in Neva, you guys should have made like a like a Geneva records for we, for fucking with people in the bathroom. Well, we did go to war sometimes, and we did make rules like set out rules for the wars. I was uh, gonna say, yeah, there was like barracks wars. <laughs> um, but we didn't really fuck with anyone that they were using the bathroom. It was more like when they were showering, we'd fuck with people. Well, that's almost worse. I think dude, that's worse. Dude, some of the shit we used to do the kids in the shower, bro. Like, when I was in seventh and eighth grade, like, it was rare to take a shower and not have someone dump ice water on you. Like, every well, that's not bad. day that was happening. That's the ALS bucket, ice bucket challenge. That's not that bad. Yeah, but imagine every day. And then uh, we also figured out how to turn off the water <laughs> and stuff. And yeah, oh, no, we used to make fuck it super with hot. people. And we, and the, because the bathrooms were, and the showers were all in the basement. So at nighttime, it would get dark. And we used to turn off the lights in the bathroom where people were showering, and like you couldn't see your fucking hand in front of your own face. <sighs> and we, you, some of the, some of the fucking kids, we used to scare the life out of these kids, man. Like, what would you come in and be like, ooh, 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 nah, nah. So, I don't know. I don't want to get into this. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't. Incriminate I mean, I, I can, I, I'll, I'll tell like a story, but it's just like, so basically, what we do is we turn off the light. Kid would be in the shower, usually like a little kid who's very scared, hmm. and um, he'd start. He'd be like, turn on the light, turn on the light, whatever. But I would just leave my hand, and I would have someone at the same time turn off the light. I'd have someone turn off the water at the same time. Oh, so they so couldn't? Because I was gonna say, if someone yeah. turned off the light on me showering, I would just continue to shower. Yeah, because it's like you can't reach your hand but in, because then you risk touching my dick. It's it's scary, and you got to remember that it's a lot of like 13, 14 year old kids. Right, it's very scary. It's, plus, yeah. it's a, it's an old school. Like we know it's haunted. Like every, you know, what I'm saying like that's a real thing. And so I used to leave my hand on top of the light switch, and like. After 15 minutes of them like being scared to death, they think, all right, they just turned off the light in the water. I'll go turn on the light. They'd have to walk across the whole bathroom. Butt ass. And butt ass naked. Damn. Reach for the light, and then all they feel is my fucking hand. And they're like, ah, ah, ah. And then you know, fucking start laughing. That's, that's lighthearted fun, though. That's lighthearted yeah. fun. I, I have a video on my phone one time. This fucking, this kid was showering, and we turned off the light in the water the whole nine yards. And my friend snuck into the bathroom and he crawls across the floor silently. And the kid refuses to walk out because he's so scared. He refuses to go try to turn on the light again. All of a sudden, my friend just walks into the shower and screams some ungodly noise. Like, I can't even describe the noise. It was so loud and so high pitched that the kid actually fell back, like slipped, fell on his ass. I was like, hold like, and, and, and you could just hear him scream. Just like, he's like, oh, oh. Like, we used a to do sick, the, A sickening thud. Every day. We used to fuck with people in the showers. We used to fuck with people in their in their rooms. We used to wait for people to come in their room, like hide in their locker. Well, dude, it's like, it's, it's an entire, you're, you're, it was a boys only school, right? No, it wasn't a boy. Everyone says that it's not. Oh, it's not? No. I was going to say, well, boys will be boys. I think that's still. Scary. No, yeah, we, we only lived with boys. Okay, well, but... the, yeah, boys will be boys.